Hi everybody, it's Ellen. I have another tutorial for you, and this time it is going to be for my mini wraparound bracelet. Um, I have the larger version, but I think this one is just as cute. Um, it is a two loom long um, bracelet. If you have one loom length is that long, um, it's pretty easy to make. Um, it's not Extending it isn't that difficult, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, I use two bands mostly around the outside for them, um, but I did do this one kind of half and half so you can see the difference if you want to kind of save yourself some bands. So this side is two bands um, wrapped around, and this side is one band. They both look pretty great, I think. Um, so I mean, it's really just up to you how you envision it looking when you're done. Um, again, like the other bracelet, this is kind of um, neat to me because the green stripe in this bracelet is actually independent of all the bands that are wrapped around it. So you could pull this out um, and actually tighten this up and kind of cinch it. Um, it's kind of neat that way. Um, I don't want to ruin my bracelet, so hide it back in there. Usually giving it a few good stretches and pulling the bands back over will hide that if you happen to pull any of those out. Um, also if you take it off the loom a particular way it seems to help so that those don't poke out as much. Um, I'll show that too. And this one I this one I did mess up on when I was connecting it so I can show you kind of what I mean about the the stretching of the sides here. But I can grab the the inside of this and I can just pull and pull and it'll just keep on shrinking up until I either break my bands or um, there's nowhere left for it to shrink to but I think that's kind of neat how that effect happens. And if you use the jelly bands it's kind of slippery so they slip back in <laughs> kind of it's kind of neat so pretty cool as long as you don't mess up on the extension so that helps but all right so we'll get started it is on one loom in the offset pattern so anybody can make it which is very cool and first we start by laying a center stripe all the way down the loom and I'm gonna make mine some fun colors so to start here at the middle pin and just go all the way down your loom. And this is the the purple stripe on this bracelet. So like that. Then you'll come back to the beginning and we're going to lay the bands that we're going to wrap over the sides. So on this one it's the green ones. And I'm going to alternate my colors so it's kind of more like this one. So we're going to start at the second pin and just we'll go off We'll go up one side and then come back into the other side, but um, from the second pin, you'll just go out to the right, kind of up and to the right, I guess. And I'm using two bands. This is where you can use one band if you want. But you're just going to do that up every pin down the loom. And then you'll stop 
when you get to here. Then we'll come back and do the other side the same way. So from the second pin, go out and then just follow that pattern all the way up. like that. Then we'll come back to the beginning. And since this is the first half of the bracelet, we actually want to, and we're going to be turning around looming up to here, so this is the side we're going to connect it onto um, the other half of the bracelet. Um, so this part will be just straight in the side um, bands, which are the filling, I guess, on here it's the black bands, um, this one it's the green. So it will be straight here, but then as we go up towards the end, we'll come into the point and this will be actually the beginning of our bracelet. So we'll start back here. We're just going to go all the way up this side and then come into the point. And these are one band too. And here we'll come in and come back to the beginning and do the same thing up the other side. that. And then you're going to want an end cap here. Just a couple times, two, three times, doesn't matter. So that's all the laying of the bands we do this time around. So now we're going to turn our loom around and loom this out. And um, first we're going to loom out the sides, the bands we just laid, in my case it's the blue ones, and um, before anyone asks, this is not the rainbow loom hook, it is actually um, a latch hook that I um, destroyed a little bit to kind of make it um, a little sturdier, I, or a little more rainbow loom friendly. I bent the hook a little bit, straightened out the um, the middle part a little bit, and removed the latch. These are the things that are used to make the um, they're used to fix carpets or to make those kits that come with like their carpet pillows or rugs. Um, that's what these are. But it was like three bucks, so I figured if I destroyed it, beating it around, that it wouldn't wouldn't hurt me a whole lot. So um, it works fairly well. Um, it's definitely different getting used to it and I could use some more bending to make it a little bit more my style. But that's what this is. So, But anyways, back to the looming. We're going to go up this side all the way to the end. Just this um, top band. So go in through your end cap. Grab the top band and loom it all the way up the side.
like that. Then come back to the beginning and do the same thing up the other side. I think the biggest problem I have with this hook is it likes to slide, the rubber band likes to slide up farther than I want it to. So then it's hard to get off. Just need to bend it some more. So like that. And we're going to come back to the beginning and we'll start on whichever side you want. So I'm going to start over here on the right. I'm just going to reach underneath, hook these bands, and pull them over back towards themselves and loop it on the pin. So grab them from underneath, pull them over, and stick it on the pin. And you just can do that all the way down the loom. Just like that. Then we'll come back down to the beginning and we'll do the other side. So just reach underneath, pull them up and over. just like that. And we'll come back to the beginning again. We'll go in through our end cap here and we'll loom up the entire center. If you find that it's too tight while you're banding this in the center, you can pull these off because it'll help loosen up the middle so it's not as tight. Um, I don't think it's too bad, but I said that before and then broke the hook. That was good. So just pull it off to like here. Sorry. Just pull it off to like here. Leave this last one on so we don't lose that. But um, just helps make the center a little looser if you have problems with it looping. Um, I usually take the sides off anyways before we remove it from the loom because that's um, how it'll prevent the um, these bands from sticking out a little bit. It just helps. So back here, we're going to loom up the yikes, middle stripe. Alright, so just like that, so everything's loomed, so now you can just come back and loosen up these sides if you haven't done them all already. And just stop there. Alright, so um, to take this off the loom, because it is only a few bands, it's pretty easy to um, transfer it, so I just take my hook and kind of remember where which side I started on. Um, but I'm just going to stick my hook through 
that one, or through the right, then through the middle, and then through the left. I don't think it, it won't necessarily really matter because it is, I mean, unless your colors are different, then you'll have to kind of pay attention to that. But then you can pay, or pull this off the loom, and just give it a little tug, and that's what it looks like. Pretty good. Now for extending it, this is the layout. It is not the same layout we just did. Um, there's a couple differences. The middle stripe all the way down to the end of the loom is the same. Starting at the second pin with your colors or whatever you have um, going out, that's all the same all the way to the end except for the last um, we would put a color here um, we skip that and just lay them in the bottom if you don't remember to do that while you're looming it up it's not too bad to just stick them in there later so um, but just this last little the side pieces um, you'll just put those on just let them hang there like that and then back to the beginning um, this is I guess the biggest difference is that this is going to be the end of the bracelet, so we want to close it to a point. And how we do that is, um, before we just went up one side, and then we closed it in a point up here. So now we're just going to start in the middle, and then go all the way up to the end on both sides. And so that way we'll have the beginning and the end of the bracelet. So just this outside band here. That's the biggest difference. But for extending this, um, turn our loom around. And besides the fact that my colors are kind of alternating, um, my um, my outside colors for the inside is the same. So I mean, if you have like, say you did a a black inside over here and a red inside over here. You want to make sure you just matched up the colors. Um, turning this one way or the other, it shouldn't make a difference really in the pattern. So, um, but all I'm going to do is take the first side. I'm going to bring it over and zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Take the first side. I'm just going to put it over this pin on the left and then just for starters for right now I'm just going to put this over the middle where it was before and then just the last piece right there so pretty super simple so far and it's not really difficult at all actually so um, now what we need to do is these bands right here that I had hanging off, if you didn't put them on, you can still squeeze them under there, um, but we need to get them underneath this band. So if you pull that off and hold it, then you just want to grab these bands we dropped and bring them up and over. Like that. And then we're just going to set this here for right now. Um, we will have to move it again. Um, but first we just need to loom all the way up the sides like before, my blue bands. So I'll just pick a side. We don't have to change this at all over here. So we're just looping this top layer band. So let's go in through there and loop it all the way up to the point. to the point like that 
I don't know how I managed to put my bases on so crooked. I didn't even notice. Now we'll come back and we'll do the other side the same way. all the way to the point, like that, and we'll come back here, and you're going to take off that top band, that top middle band, and just hang on to it. It's a little tricky here, um, just because you got to hang on to everything and support your loom while you're trying to loom, but once you have a hold of this band, you're going to want to flip your sides over in that first band. So do one side, and then the other side. And then you can put the middle band back on. So then all we need to do is just loom up the, the sides, like we did before, and then the middle stripe. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so that's everything loomed up. And you can see I had a little bit of extra stretch here, um, so it'll kind of poke out when we're done. Um, I think it happens on every bristle that I've done just because of, we pull a lot for the extension, so um, that's kind of where that comes from. But you can get it poked back in pretty well. So now we just take your hook and stick it in through the open end here, and you pull this off your loom. Here we have it. 
Now bands, um, they do make the difference on how long this is. Um, one second. So this one is too long. Um, but these were all made on two looms long. This one is almost perfect. And so is this one. So it looks like the whichever bands in here, I guess the blue bands made it stretchier. Um, if you have that issue and it's too long, because it's hard to guess sometimes how long you really need the bracelet, um, with this one, you I mean, literally can just take a hook, probably not this hook, but um, take a hook, find the, find the center of one of these, that's where you need it to be for lengthwise. Put your hook down in there. This is not clever. Put your hook down in through the center of one of those. Make sure you've got both sides. So once you have the center of that, I mean, you can um, unloom this middle part. Um, to come back to where you need it to be, or you can simply, um, if you catch the bands here, I'm just going to put these back on my hook for a second, because I guess this one is too long, I can make it shorter. All right, so um, you can also, to make this shorter, just kind of, I'm going to just poke these off my hook for a second, grab my middle bands, which were the purple ones, and then you can simply take the outside bands and just give them a little bit of a pull to shorten up the bracelet and then eventually when you get to the right length I, think I need a little bit more stretch it out so that's not too bad right there so when you get to the right length um, you can just simply hook it back up go through the middle of the bands and then you'll just remove whichever bands you don't need like so so I made it to my wrist size I still have all the colors on there so I don't I didn't you know if you had a pattern on here like a rainbow thing um, you wouldn't actually lose it which is kinda cool so but that is a way to shorten it instead of guessing how long. Just make it two looms and then pull up those side pieces until it gets short enough for around your wrist. Um, if you're not comfortable with like, letting them hang off like I did, then just put C-clips in um, the side pieces and then do the, um, the pulling apart of it. But Just be careful. Don't lose your middle because um, that's what's holding this stuff and this, the wraps are on the outside. 
but this is my tutorial for my wrap my mini wrap around bracelet so I hope you liked it it's kind of a, another unique type thing to be able to wrap them around a different way and then customize it to your wrist size so you um, don't have to worry about how many so thank you for watching I'll have more tutorials for you soon